Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are right here live in Enugu Street, where Honorable Agbo Denis, Honorable Member, sitting Honorable Member of the Federal House of Representatives, will address you on the happenings of the elections that is taking place right in this constituency. On this far left is the National General Secretary of the Labour Party, Malam Alhaji Omar Brian Farouk. Right by my side is Honorable AGK, Chief AGK Omar Komba. And then right in the middle, of course, he is the Honorable Member of the Federal House of Representatives, Honorable Dennis Agbo, who will address you this afternoon on the happenings of the election that is taking place right here in his constituency. Please, sir. Good afternoon, press people. Uh, it is my... It's with pain that I address the press this afternoon uh, on the goings on, on the conduct of the rerun election going on in my constituency. Um, what is going on right now has not come to us by like surprise because days ago we had sounded this alarm and informed the various security agencies as, as to what the opponent, the PDP candidate, was planning to do. We had indicated that having failed to connect with our people and with the margin of lead that I have in this election, which is up to 12,570 votes, while we have only 166 polling units remaining to go, their only resort was to rigging, bizarre rigging, writing of results of the election. Now, we know that we have an electoral arbiter, which is the INEC. And I'm still very hopeful that INEC, in this case, is going to do exactly the right thing. They have promised it because the electoral process has, is clearly defined in the Act. There are procedures for organizing a credible election. All those procedures have been set aside. And what we see is just a bizarre manipulation of the process. So, the beavers is a major instrument of conducting a credible election. Voters will have to be accredited before they vote. In other words, the number of votes that will be recorded on the result sheet will always have to tally with the beavers report. A situation whereby this opponent, this candidate of PDP, opened up a voting place by 2 a.m. this morning, and people in RG, in the house of, uh, of a, a councillor of PDP, Kelechi is his name, in Nkwaj, we have reported this also to the security, various security agencies. He, they opened a voting there, and they've been busy the thumb printing ballot papers. Thumb printing ballot papers. Now, if voting had opened and they decided to vote for PDP after due accreditation with the Beavers machine, we have no problem with it because we have our supporters in, the large, in, the, in large numbers. But to disregard the due process and think that after stuffing ballot papers with, with thumb printed ballot papers, after stuffing the ballot boxes with thumb printed ballot papers, they can bring it into the result. That will be the most bizarre thing that will happen. And I'm sure, and I'm very confident that the INEC will not condone that. So it is 12 o'clock, after 12 o'clock, but I needed to let the world know that what is going on in my constituency now is nothing at all like an election. It is no election at all. There is no major voting unit, polling unit, where you have a result sheet. None. 
they have hijacked the result sheets and they hope to write it. So after writing it, how do they hope to now enter it into the Beaver's machine? And after doing all the, all, all the manipulations, how do they now hope to bring it to the collision centers and declare it? That remains to be seen. But I am telling the world, I'm telling INEC, I'm telling the security agencies that so far across the constituency, in the two local governments, in the Ibuese North local government, in the Udenu local government, the exercise is not going on at all. How can an exercise go on when you don't have resource sheets for the polling unit? And days ago, we had intimidated, intimidated everybody that what they planned to do was simply to hijack the resource sheets and go and write it and disregard the Beaver's machine and disregard the due process. I think it is the most um, bizarre thing that will happen. And in our electoral process right now, we are trying to recover from the trust deficit that the Nigerian people already have. And this definitely is not the way to go. And I'm sure that INEC understands this. And I'm sure that INEC had made good preparations. This is an off-season election. All the beavers machines are working, but they have decided to disregard it and resort to this kind of bizarre situation that we find ourselves. Um, in um, Obaike, the election opened and a particular electoral officer was cited by my supporters, stuffed her bag with ballot papers. Stuffed the bag with ballot papers. And they tried to arrest the person and the talks of PDP prevented them. They tried to take a, a, a snapshot of it. The press people were there. They tried to record what was going on. How can a, an electoral officer have some printed ballot papers before election opens? And they tried to record this thing for the world to see. And they were nearly lynched. That's a waike. The same thing is, is going on at Omeida. The same thing is going on at Amala. In fact, a, a major, one of our major supporters in Amala, in the local government, was lynched practically. That's, it, it was only by God's grace that, he was, that his life was saved. They had beaten him up. This is a very prominent son of this constituency. And they had beaten him up, pushed him out of the, of the, of the polling unit, and continued to carry on with this show of shame. Um, in Oba, it is the same thing. In other locations, my, the phone is ringing nonstop. So it is the same everywhere. For me, I am calm and I ask my supporters to remain calm because we are comfortably in the lead. We are comfortably in the lead. We have 12,000 570 votes intact. I won this election with 28,870 votes. The, the, the second person got 14,300. At the election, I led him with 14,500 votes. That is the margin of lead at the, when I was declared the winner. Now, with this supplementary election, my 6,200 votes were at, are at stake. Their own 4,200 are at stake. So intact votes, my own intact votes is 22,670. Their own is a mere 10,100. I am still leading them by a whopping 12,570 votes. So I, I am watching, the world is watching, everybody is watching to see how this charade is going to become uh, smuggled into the official process. And I'm sure uh, this country is not at a stage where we can take any more embarrassments. So I want to thank you for your uh, patience. Thank you for your sacrifices. I know the risk you have taken to participate in this election because there has been drum beats of violence, drum beats of this rigging that, that they have orchestrated today. 
And so I want to thank the press people. I want to thank the INEC officials, those that are ready to do the right thing. I want to thank the security agencies, those who are ready to do the right thing. But let me mention something. That, and this is, if, even if this is how I conclude this, the local government vigilante group, the neighborhood watch, is not a, is not a recognized security agency of the Federal Republic to supervise the a national election like this. The neighborhood watch in Ibeze North has practically hijacked the security arrangement from the army. And this is very surprising. And they chase away the Labour Party supporters. They chase away supporters of other political parties. They allow them access to move around the, the local government. And this is how they have facilitated this national embarrassment. Now, I want to say it here, that I reject every, anything, any process that is being supervised, manipulated, by a security outfit of the local government that they have turned into their private armies. I reject anything that will come out from this kind of process. And I know nothing is going to come out of it because the, we have other steps in this electoral process to go. And when that time comes, they will hear that we have not gotten this uh, bad even in our country. Thank you again for listening. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, it was deep, heavy heart. We're addressing you here today to express our disappointment with what is happening in this constituency. What is going on is far from being a national election. We have gone around with my team. All the two local governments who have visited several polling units, the complaints are the same. Rigging, vote vying, snatching of result sheet. These are the thing, intimidation of polling agent. All these crimes are being perpetrated by the candidate of the PDP. The PDP candidates and their members have hijacked the process from INEC and also some of the security agents have compromised. It is therefore unfortunate. We are calling on INEC to descend on their agent, to descend on their official, to ensure that any result tendered, which is not signed or which is not in consonant with the vivas, should not be rejected. More than 80% of the polling units do not have their result sheet. The source sheet are not available. So therefore, we call on INEC to immediately call on their officials to check this rascality and ensure that the writing is being done. We are law-abiding citizens. We are not desperate. But we are desperate to ensure that the right thing is being done. We have just come out for a shameful election in 2023. And this is a test in which we we'll see whether the electoral body will have made an amend and prepare for a brighter a more prosperous electoral system in Nigeria. 
what we are seeing here, what we are witnessing, is far from an election. So we'll continue to brief media and we'll continue to send our reports to INEC, official at the INEC headquarters, so that uh, they will do the right thing. We'll continue to go around and monitor. We thanks, we appreciate the effort of the official security agencies who have given us unhindered uh, access to all the uh, polling units that are designated for the rerun election. But the unofficial security agents that harass voters and intimidate our agents, we do not agree with that. And we call on the uh, Commissioner of Police, the Inspector General of Police, the Director DSS, to be, uh, ensure that they investigate this matter and deal with those people accordingly. Thank you very much.